3 i atlas this new interstellar object and that could uh, potentially tell us how big it is because uh, the amount of sunlight that is reflected the greatest mystery in our skies just got stranger days after astronomers announced the third ever interstellar comet 3i slash atlas routine observations flipped to panic its brightness doubled nearly overnight its coma ballooned alarmingly fast and its path defied Newton itself. If a comet can grow to half the size of the sun without tearing itself apart, what does that make three I slash Atlas? And what happens when science runs out of explanations? On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile recorded a faint object moving rapidly against the background stars. The software flagged its path as unusual an orbit so open it would never circle the Sun. Within hours, the Minor Planet Center calculated an eccentricity near 1.2, confirming what every astronomer hopes to hear. This was not a solar system comet. It was the third interstellar visitor ever found, following in the footsteps of Oumuamua and Borisov. The discovery set off a chain reaction among the world's observatories, the ATLAS team, led by John Tonry, pored over the original detection frames and traced the object's motion backwards through archival data. Each image, each timestamp, narrowed the uncertainties. The object's speed, over 200,000 kilometers per hour, left no doubt. Its trajectory sliced through the solar system on a hyperbolic arc, a one-time passage from the depths of interstellar space. Within a day, confirmation alerts reached the desks of planetary scientists, dynamicists, and comet specialists worldwide. The object, now designated 3I Atlas, became the focus of a global mobilization. Telescopes from Hawaii to the Canary Islands logged urgent requests for observation time. The race was on to capture every photon, every spectrum, before the comet slipped away forever. For the third time in history, humanity had a chance to study a piece of another star system, an ancient messenger on a brief, unrepeatable visit. Observation time on the world's most powerful telescopes is fiercely competitive, but the arrival of 3 mon slash atlas changed the usual calculus. Within days of its discovery, the Space Telescope Science Institute granted Target of Opportunity programs on both the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. Hubble's Wide Field Camera, 3 and JWST's NIR, CAMAM and NIR SPEC instruments were assigned program YDS and filter sets, each designed to maximize contrast and detail across the comet's coma and nucleus. These were not routine observations. Exposure times, tracking rates, and filter choices were coordinated in real time between instrument teams, with every calibration step logged for reproducibility. On the ground, spectrographs at Keck and the Very Large Telescope began scanning for volatile signatures and velocity shifts, while amateur astronomers contributed independent photometry from backyard observatories. Each dataset was processed through its own reduction pipeline, cosmic ray rejection, flat fielding, and astrometric registration. The results didn't just stand alone, they were cross-checked. Hubble's F350LP images were compared against JWST's F210M exposures, and independent teams ran parallel reductions to confirm that every feature was real not an artifact of a single instrument or software routine. This level of scrutiny was more than procedural. The global collaboration ensured that any pattern in the data, whether a subtle color gradient or a sharp spectral line, could be trusted. As the first round of images and spectra arrived, the scientific community prepared for the next step, comparing these meticulous measurements against the standard models of comet behavior. Within days of the first detection, astronomers noticed that 3i slash Atlas was not behaving like any comet in recent memory. 
The photometric curve, built from a patchwork of Atlas survey points and swift UVOT exposures, showed a brightness surge that defied standard models. In July alone, the comet's apparent magnitude jumped from 18.9 to 16.4, a tenfold increase in flux over just a month. Calculations revealed the light curve was doubling every 11 days, nearly three times faster than predicted for a comet at this distance from the Sun. The anomaly didn't end with the light. Orbit fitters at JPL and the Minor Planet Center began to see residuals in the velocity data. When they plugged in the latest astrometric positions, the numbers wouldn't settle. A non-gravitational acceleration term, A1, measured at roughly 1.8 times 10 to the minus 7 astronomical units per day squared, was needed to account for the object's motion. The direction and strength of this push matched what you'd expect from intense outgassing, but the magnitude was right at the edge of what comet science considers plausible. Meanwhile, Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 delivered images of a coma already stretching beyond 24,000 kilometers across, with hints of even fainter material fading into the background. The expansion rate, combined with the steepening light curve, raised alarms among comet specialists. A nucleus this small, brightening this quickly, and driving a coma this large. These were the numbers that didn't fit. Each new dataset only deepened the puzzle, shifting the mood from curiosity to real scientific concern. The comet's behavior was not just rare, it was unprecedented. Comet specialists began to run the numbers, and the results were staggering. Hubble's latest images measured the coma stretching close to half the sun's radius, an envelope of gas and dust spanning over 300,000 kilometers. For a nucleus estimated at less than 6 kilometers across, this scale was unheard of. Standard models predict that a coma of this size would require the comet to shed more than 100 million kilograms of material every second. At that rate, the nucleus should disintegrate almost instantly, torn apart by the violent rush of escaping gas. Yet, I-slash-Atlas remained intact, its core hidden but undisturbed at the center of the storm. Senior comet scientists reviewed the calculations again. The tensile strength of cometary ice and dust is feeble, barely enough to hold together under gentle heating, let alone the explosive outgassing needed to inflate such a vast coma. Even the most volatile rich comets ever observed, like Tupau I slash Borisov, broke apart under far less stress. But every dataset, every spectrum, confirmed the impossible. 3. I slash Atlas was not only surviving, but growing more active by the day. The laws that governed every known comet seemed powerless to explain what was happening. The paradox deepened, and the search for answers took on new urgency. Analyst teams across continents began a systematic elimination of every natural explanation. The first hypothesis on the table was runaway outgassing volatile ices erupting from the nucleus at record rates. Models were run using the measured nucleus size and the observed coma expansion. The numbers didn't add up. Even if the surface was pure carbon dioxide, the mass loss required to inflate a coma this large would have shattered the core in minutes. Yet, images from Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope showed a nucleus that remained perfectly intact with no sign of fragmentation or trailing debris. Next came the possibility of plasma interactions. Could the solar wind be sculpting the coma, stretching it to impossible scales? Teams compared the comet's position relative to the sun's magnetic field and ran simulations of dust and gas interacting with charged particles. The results failed to match the observed symmetry and persistence of the coma. No known plasma process could account for the rapid, uniform growth or the sustained brightness. Fragmentation was ruled out as well. No secondary nuclei, no expanding cloud of debris, 
Every instrument, from Keck's spectrograph to ExoMars's cameras, found a single, sharply defined source. Scattering geometry, the idea that a peculiar viewing angle might exaggerate the coma's size or brightness, was modeled and dismissed. The observed flux and coma profile remained stubbornly at odds with every plausible scenario. Each hypothesis fell, one by one, under the weight of the data. The standard playbook had run out of answers. October 11, 2025 The last images of 3i slash Atlas arrive from the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes. Each frame, processed by independent teams at the Space Telescope Science Institute, shows a narrow, luminous feature projecting from the nucleus, aligned precisely with the comet's velocity. The beam persists across every filter and instrument, surviving every artifact test and reduction pipeline. Observers cross-check timestamps, wavelengths, and exposure logs. No diffraction spike, no cosmic ray, no software artifact can explain it. The validators at STSCI sign off. The feature is real, at least in the data. In the days that follow, the astronomical community debates every possibility. Some suggest a jet of gas or dust. Others invoke rare projection effects or unknown outgassing chemistry. But the beam's sharpness and unwavering direction defy all familiar comet physics. When asked, Avi Loeb, who once argued that Oumuamua might be artificial, says, if this is a comet, it's unlike any we've ever seen. But extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. As 3i slash Atlas passes behind the sun, the signal vanishes. No telescope on Earth can follow it through the solar glare. The last confirmed sighting, logged at October 11th, 2025, leaves astronomers with a single, haunting question. When it reappears, will it still be a comet, or something far beyond our understanding? On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas survey logged the third interstellar object ever seen, 3EI slash Atlas. Within just weeks, Hubble and James Webb images confirmed a coma that expanded to half the sun's diameter. Yet, the comet did not break apart, defying every known model. Spectral data and photometry showed a brightness surge and speed anomalies that current physics cannot explain. Multiple cross-checked observations revealed a forward-pointing light beam, validated across independent instruments. Despite exhaustive testing, no natural process fit the evidence. To date, the last confirmed sighting, October 11, 2025, shows 3 pi ma slash Atlas vanishing into the sun's glare, with no further data available. The object's true nature remains unknown. Official reports confirm all findings, but key details, such as the mechanism behind the beam, are still under review. For now, the 3i slash Atlas event stands as the most perplexing interstellar mystery on record. The world waits for what will emerge from behind the sun, comet, artifact, or something entirely new.